G'day guys. Well, I do get asked a lot on what bits and pieces I've got on my 2009 GU Nissan Patrol. So I thought it's about time we make a video of it and then you guys can see exactly what I've done. Because sometimes it's easier for me to say what I haven't done to what I have done to it. So we'll film this in two sections. We'll cover from the waist up first and then we'll cover from the waist down. And it's generally the waist down bits and pieces that really make this such a capable tourer, particularly for the mighty Victorian high country. So let's get into it, we've got a lot to cover. Righto, we'll start at the front and then we'll work our way around. To begin with, I've got the steel bull bar here from opposite lock down at Mornington. Also, I've got the Light Force spotlights, the HCX spotlights from Light Force. These at night are fair income amazing. Underneath, I've got 12,000 pound worn winch, which gets me out of most trouble, but if it's not getting me out, it's generally pulling a few Toyotas out, so that's probably a good thing. And then this here, that's just my standard UHF radio. Still got the 40 channel. I might upgrade to the 80 there one day, but at the moment, still serves my, for purpose what I use it for. The big long aerial here, that's my AM radio. So I can pick up, say, ABC radio when I'm out in the high country. Keeps me up to date with weather conditions and things like that. Well worth having. And then you can keep up to date on what's going on. So we'll go from here and we'll move around the corner. Righto, around this side, there's only a couple of things to cover and certainly a snorkel. Now you must have one of these if you want to have a really good look around the Victorian high country because there's just so many rivers you'll have to pass through and this will save you having any water ingress into your engine and that'll be pretty disastrous if that happens. So make sure you put one of these on. I reckon no snorkel, no high country. So put one of those. Up here, that's just my standard awning. I'll pull that out a bit later on and I'll show you the full setup with my extension sheet on it. It's pretty handy. Simple, but does the job. So now, we'll move around the back. Righto, so at the back end of my Nissan Patrol, as you can see, you've got the twin wheel carriers here, steel bar, gives me great protection for all those washouts and sort of things that I travel throughout the Victorian high country. Um, this is a set of drawers that I've made myself. So I've custom built them for, you know, what sort of works for me, and it works really, really well. So this is just a big drawer here. I haven't got any dividers in it, but I keep my camp oven there and billies, knives, plates, and even food in there. It's a great size drawer, it carries everything for what I need. This little one over here, there's a lot of weight in this. This has got all the recovery gear in it. So um, it's very easy and very handy to get to. Just above that, just got a little pull out table, you know, so I can make my lunch, whatever I could do on the side of the track. It slides away in there. Just this little side compartment here, just keep all my axes, log splitters, that sort of thing. Um, up the back there on the cargo barrier, I've got a 20 litre water tank and that's just on gravity feeds. So there's no batteries, no power required. Um, you know, it works really, really well. Very simple and that's sort of what I like about my setup, that it is pretty simple. Um, up the top here, it's got a couple of work lights that I can just plug in there like so. And uh, so I can see what I'm doing of a night. Um, these are a fantastic little light, again from light course, but they're just a fantastic little light. And then over this side, I got my fridge, slide out fridge slide here. This is stuff that I've all made myself. Um, so I just pull that out. I just stand up on the rear hitch there to get into it. Been doing it for a while now. So um, it certainly works really, really well. It just goes back in there like that. And uh, that pretty much covers the back of the patrol. So we'll go around the other side. And we'll see what's going on there. Well, it's around this side. I've just got my aluminium roof rack here from Tradesman Roof Rack. It's lightweight, it's extremely strong, and it carries all the gear that I need to carry when I certainly do go away. And just some of the accessories that they do make, they've got the uh, brackets here for your shovel and high lift jack if you want to carry one of those. Also got uh, jerry can holders, which they also do make as well. And they'll custom make a roof rack and accessories for your, your needs if you want to go and check them out. But well worth having a chat with the boys from Tradesman Roof Rack if you're after a rack. From here, we'll start covering some of the good bits from the waist down. Okay, under the bonnet here, I've got the aftermarket intercooler with a thermo fan mounted underneath. Now I've got a switch inside the cab there, which I'll show you that bit later on, how that all works. But the fan is really, really effective for when you're doing your low range four wheel driving, you haven't got a lot of airflow going through that scoop. So the intercooler is not really doing a great deal. So that's where the fan comes in and, and sort of takes over for that sort of times when you're not doing any high speed sort of work. But when you're out on the freeways, don't need to smack the fan going so much because there's a lot of airflow going through the top scoop there. I've got my dual battery systems going on here. 
uh, compressor there for me uh, for my front and rear lockers. I've got an oil catch can here, now that's a really good accessory to have on your four-wheel drive because it's amazing how much oil that those things do catch. Uh, doors valve down there, I haven't done any EGR block offs, so underneath it's still pretty simple. Um, I've had a tune done from it from Diesel Tune Australia, and I tell you what, with the improvements that they made to this vehicle by removing the chip and performing a tune on this is absolutely staggering. So if you've got a Conrail diesel motor, these guys are certainly well worth having a chat to. So under here, still pretty standard, but it's all very, very effective and works really, really well. So from here, we'll go underneath and start to see some of these good bits that really make this such a capable full drive. Righto, let's start to discuss some of the things that really make this such a capable full drive, particularly in the mighty Victorian high country. So I start off with a good set of tyres, the Goodyear Wrangler MTR Kevlar's, absolutely fantastic boon for me, and I highly recommend them if you're in the market for a new set of tyres. And mounted to those, I've got the steel wheels from Gecko Wheels. Now they give me a stack of protection, particularly around here where there's a lot of rocks, and they're a great quality wheel, so well worth checking out if you're looking for a set of wheels for your four-wheel drive. Also underneath, then I've got the Dobinson's MRR suspension. Now, around here where you need a lot of flex and traction, that certainly helps with giving me that, and it keeps these guys on the ground to do the job that they're designed to do. And underneath, I sort of can't show you a lot of the stuff under there because it's pretty much built in internally, but this does have front and rear air lockers, and it also has a 42% reduction in the transfer case. Now, when you combine all that, low pressures on a good set of tyres, good quality steel wheels, great suspension, and front and rear, air, front and rear lockers, uh, combine that with the 42% reduction gears in the transfer case, it makes this a very, very capable four-wheel drive. First gear in this is absolutely amazing. There's hardly a hill anywhere around here if I'm going downhill where I'm on the brakes. I'm generally sometimes accelerating downhills just to keep it going. That's how good first gear is in this. It's absolutely sensational. So from here, we might move inside and I'll show you some of the bits and pieces I've got in there. Right, hey. So inside my Nissan Patrol, I start off with a good quality canvas seat covers to protect my seats. They're in all the seats right around the vehicle, which is really, really good. They're a foam backing made by Got Your Covered Seat Covers, and they're Australian made, and Australian made in every sense of the word, in fact. So is the material and everything. So really worth having a chat to if you want to get good quality seat covers to protect your seats. Over here, a couple of gauges. The top one here, that's my turbo boost and EGT readout. Underneath there, I've got my oil pressure gauge, couple of really important readouts let you know what's going on the engine at all times underneath here here's that switch that I mentioned before that controls the fan on my intercooler so I can turn it on and off whenever I need to particularly in that low range work where your engine's working pretty hard not a great deal of airflow coming through the uh, scoop there so I just flick the fan on and that takes the control and keeps it nice and cool um, in the middle over there I've got another gauge there and that gives me my readout for my dual batteries so I know how many volts and where the power is at with those really really handy gauges um, down the bottom there that's more of my switches there for my uh, front and rear lockers uh, nice and easy handy to get to um, and that pretty much covers in here I'll just show you a couple of bits in the back and then I think we're done Right, so to finish off the uh, lap around my full drive to have to give you some tips, I've got an 800 watt inverter here, which I've got a four pin power point plugged into that. So that keeps my uh, phones, battery chargers, laptops, all that sort of stuff charged up nicely uh, whenever I need it. And just a little fire extinguisher there, just in case um, something might catch on fire, but hopefully that never happens one day. So until then, I think that's given you a good idea on what's going on in this full drive. If you've still got any further questions, Please don't hesitate to give me a yarn, subscribe to my YouTube channel, and fair chance, I'll see you out in the bush someday.